Hello, this is Jacob Dobson here with another tutorial in Illustrator. Today we're going to learn how to type on a path. And so to get started, let's create a path here with a shape this time. And of course you can use any shape to get started. You can even use a line, a squiggly line. It doesn't matter. But for this particular demonstration, I'm just randomly selecting a circle to get us started. So um, lots of options um, to do with this particular uh, technique. All right, to get started, we have ourselves a circle here. We can hold down the shift key to make sure we have uh, a circle or use the oval by letting go of the shift key. Uh, it just depends on what you want. Um, if we just want to focus on it, uh, uh, the selection as a specific path and not a shape or a stroke, we just, uh, just cl click on the no fill and we'll have ourselves just the path to work with. All right, to get started, um, let's select over here the Type tool and hold that down until other drop-down options pull up here. And we're going to select Type on a Path tool, this little option here, and you'll see that icon change there. And uh, we go literally over here and just select that path. And automatically, uh, Type will happen. So uh, let's go ahead and type something here. And um, we have uh, it written probably crooked and maybe the wrong font that we're not interested in. Uh, so we can easily come over here and uh, reselect it with it like this or if it was already previously selected. Um, we just can come over here at that point and change the font to uh, the type of our choice. So um, lots of options there. But let's go to Helvetica here for the purpose of this demonstration. I want to show you that specifically with some fonts like Helvetica, there's lots of options. We can uh, turn into light or bold. Um, let's keep it on light for this demonstration. And we can also play around with the font size here. All right, so let's say that um, we want to realign or center this text a little better. We can literally just click on the selection tool here and some options are going to pull up and we can pull on that little bar here that allows us some opportunities to um, play around with that. So um, play around with that here and this is something just you want to experiment with and play around and um, see what can happen and there's other bars here that can play around with as well. So um, let me show you another option as well. Come up here to type and then type on path and then select type on path options here and click on preview so you can see what's going to happen um, as soon as we do this. And if, let's say that you want the type to align on the path in a specific way, for example, center. And what that will do is put the type path through the center, put the type through the center of the path versus uh, at the baseline, for example. So those are some options that you have as well there. Also, you can use this tool here to type uh, this option, um, type on path options to flip the text. Let's say you want it to go uh, in the other direction. Uh, you can certainly do that with this as well. So uh, these are just a few of the options that you can play around with when it comes to using the uh, type path tool. Hope this was helpful and uh, hoping that you make something beautiful with this.